another evening, one hour segment of, uh, of stunt hanger building videos. Uh, let's see, we got the single thing. We got four on there already. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Let's get into the control room. Come on. There we are. Thing works so slow, it's ridiculous. Five likes already, four, only four viewers, so that's good, <laughs> I guess. All right, six likes and five viewers. All right. All right, this e good evening, Dan. Loud and clear, good. Okay, this evening we're gonna do the wing fillets. And I see Dan is not in the garage sanding. <laughs> and uh, those are dry on the back. We'll uh, work on those after I, if I get these filled, I'll sand on them later. I've already broken out the uh, the super fill out of my mixing container. Let me uh, get this closed up. Come on, get in there. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Still got a big mess here. So we're going to mix up some super fill. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear you guys are sanding. Well, we got too much zoom here. There we are. Okay. So. Super Phil, Art Spatula. We have the uh, the hardener. We have the spoon. This was blue. I think we're just going to mix up two again. We didn't use that much of it, but uh, there's my little stick I was looking for. So, that's plenty of super fill. Now I need half that much of the white to go in there. Let's see here. Don't know what happened to my spoon. My white spoon, but we have more, so we'll get some more. Do not cross contaminate this stuff. I think I'll throw this one out. If you cross contaminate it, you'll be crying. If you will have wasted your twenty some dollars. So as I've shown before, we'll take about half as much. It's 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 not an exact science. You don't it doesn't have to be perfect. If you want it to dry faster, you mix it more harder in it. But we would like to get some work time out of it. So now it's just a matter of mixing it up. What do we got here? Any... Let's 
Now, my normal way to do these is with tape, but all I have is two inch tape, and I don't want to put that on this thing, so we'll do it John's way, just like I did the back there. Makes it real good until it's all, all the white is mixed in. It becomes light blue. When it dries, it turns kind of a greenish color. Frost a cake with this. I don't think it would taste too good, but, <laughs> but you could. This is the same stuff I use for my pilot's hair on my uh, continental hair. Switch the camera back. I guess I should dust that off. Not that it would really matter, but. dust on it. Need a towel. Remember I put the uh, carbon fiber over the top of that and we'll just super fill right over it. You won't You'll never see it when it's sanded in. Any of you guys that have a camera that would like to come in as a guest, let me know. I'll send you an invite link. link. It's, this is not like what, what happens on uh, the chat. This is it's not the same program. There's nothing to, to download or nothing. It's right in your browser. Maybe show us a project you're doing or whatever.
Just like decorating a cake. Now you gotta moisten your finger. I use uh this is called Superfill. It's uh, available from Wix Aircraft. It's uh, $24 a quart. A quart will last you, you know, it'll, it'll last you a long time. Because you don't use much. And it's super light. Sands super easy. And if you do it right, you don't there's not much sanding. Now that looks like hell, but let's see, let's uh, clean some of that up. Okay, that looks terrible. You bought some last week, it was $39. I guess prices have gone up. Did you get it from Wix or did you get it from Aircraft Spruce? Yeah, try Wix. Wix is twenty four bucks. I, that's the last what I paid for it last time. Of course, it could have gone up. I buy everything from Wix aircraft. I'll let that go until it hardens up a little bit. I can, uh, I don't know, it's pretty good right there. Pretty bueno. Except for back there. Now, I have heard that you're not supposed to, hey Tom, I have heard that you're not supposed to use your finger to smooth that out. I have always done it that way. However, I do have these, let's see if we can find them. This is a big one. I mean, that would make a big fillet there. Oh, boy. I 
know they're in here somewhere. Can't find them now. I got to I got to carry on. I, I'm not going to use it anyway. I have some other ones. Marble. People use marbles. Uh, some people use uh, the end of a prop blade. I just use my finger. But supposedly there's uh, there's oils in your finger that do something i don't know it's never done anything to me okay let's flip it over flip it over Yeah, about a hundred days ago, this started out as, started out as a idea. I I dreamt this up at the Nats. I wanted to take the Thunderbolt fuselage because I I got so much work in the molds. So I got a set of plans at the Nats. I think they were twenty five bucks for Billy's Thunderbolt which I didn't have plans when I built mine and I didn't want to go through the rendering again. So I got Billy's Thunderbolt and I built, did the crutch his way and the fuselage basically his way and put my wing in it. And uh, I think this is going to be a better airplane. I wish I could have built it as light as Billy, but ain't no way I can't I can't pull that Billy weight off. I don't think there's many that can. I knew I didn't want to build a Ray Bearcat. That thing's going to be a super turd. There's Bob Hunt says there's oils in your finger. You got to ask Bob about that. I've always used my finger. I've never had any problems with the uh, with fillets lifting. Of course, I've, I've always done things different than everybody else anyway. But Bob is a, is a good, experienced builder. He builds some nice stuff. He builds very accurate and very light. So I, I listen to him, but I guess I listen to him. I just don't pay attention. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 
There we go. Back when I was painting your thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, 35 bucks. Well worth it. You control line guys, don't be so cheap. <laughs> you could be riding Harleys. How much is that? A hundred dollars? Now it's probably a thousand dollars. How much is that boat? A hundred dollars? Okay. If we get to it, I'll show you some sanding on this super fill back here because it's dry and ready to go. Better get this wet or else it'll drag. Back in the Apostolite days, I used to lick my finger. You only do that once, though, because it doesn't taste very good. Can't smell it. It's got a slight smell to it, but the uh, the hardener smells like ammonia, maybe like cat pee, <laughs> but it's very faint. Some more up there. Sinking. We got 20 watchers now. Like, subscribe, and share. Super chat if the year if these videos help. That's how I I fund stunt hanger to keep you guys entertained. Ain't making a killing at this, that's for sure. What happened to my knife? What happened to the knife? Did it fall down on the ground? Come on. Come on. 
Oh, there it is. So if this wing fillets take an hour, it took an hour last night, it takes two hours to put the fillets in an airplane. Close enough. Close enough. Let's see what the front looks like here. And we'll turn it around. That's how tight it is in here. I got no room. Okay. Guess I better wipe it off. Uh, I know a lot of times I, I do. I just, I don't have any tape, so John, John does it this way. So I got a little uh, artist palette knife and um, as long as you get it on there and get it smoothed out. You'll be fine. It's just an artist spatula. About a dollar at Walmart. Of course, I don't know. You know, price everything going up. It might be five dollars now. set up.
Well, I, I don't get any edge with the tape either because I smooth them out after I, I taped it off with alcohol just like this. There's another way to do this too with a syringe. You put this stuff in a syringe and squirt a little spaghetti on it on there and then smooth it out. Never done it, but I've seen it done. I don't have the syringe to do it with. Okay. That turned out all right. I'm going to get the hump on and get the top on before this stuff sets up because it's getting hard. We'll come back, smooth them again. Yeah, we're doing that one, so we gotta go this way. It's all going on, ain't nothing coming off. Yeah, you could do that, like a cake, a cake decoration bag. Never done it that way. Always done it with my fingers. I'm a hands-on guy. Yep, it's setting up, getting hard. Of course, it won't be cured till tomorrow for sanding. Work time is uh, 
half hour. Oh, we got it. We just made it. Normally what happens with these is... Good evening. Uh, normally what happens with these is I put them on and I'm not really satisfied with them. And I have to go back and touch them up. You know, there'll be a place that's low or whatever. After I've sanded it the first time. Very rarely have I got them on the first go around where I was happy with them. Okay, let's smooth it out, see what it looks like. I can see a spot on the uh, stabilizer. I'm going to add a little bit while I get the stuff mixed. Thank you, Marcel. like that. be more inclined to sand it in instead of smoothing it in. Okay, what do we got? 41 minutes. Well, we didn't do too bad. 41 minutes to put them in.
Now, if you, uh, I won't be doing this on camera because we're not going to wait that long. If you wait just a little longer than what you got here and it, it starts to really firm up, you can come back with the alcohol and really smooth it out. Right now it's pulling. You know, I'm pulling some off. It has to be hardened up enough. Yeah, leather Phillips is no good, but Bill Sawyer sent me some leather Phillips. I tried them. You put them on with Ambroid. I didn't like them at all. Anyway, if that works for you, Matter of fact, I think I still got some of that stuff. Got to be 25 years old or better. So I just let this harden up in the can. And then I'll break it out tomorrow. I get this stuff off my hands. Now, uh, so that was the John Jordan method of applying fillets. Not my normal way to do things, but like I said, I don't have any tape. All I have is three inch wide tape, and I don't want to put three inch wide tape on my wing that doesn't have that much dope on it because you end up pulling the paper up. And I did the same thing in the back, back here last night. I got to get them things cut off of there. We're going to be doing some fun stuff here shortly. This this stuff here is, oh, damn, I put my thumb right where I didn't want to. Oh, man. I, I just put that super fill on back there, and I put my thumb right in it. Okay, one more try. Let's put some more back on there. That's what happens when I play to the camera. Now, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna smooth this out. I'm gonna sand it to shape. The stuff sands like just like balsa wood. Okay, let's keep let's keep from putting our hand in the in the putty. I'd be anxious to see what it weighs now, but I can't do that until this stuff dries. So there's a ton more sanding to do. Sanding and sanding and sanding, but come this Friday, it's going to get, it'll, it might get two colors Friday. White here, white here, and, you know, it's going to get a, a dusting of white where the white's going to be because it's all going to be reverse mass. The rondelles, the invasion stripes. 
Uh, the yellow. So I'll have to be white first. I don't know. Could paint it all gray and I yeah, will make up my mind. Uh, and yeah, it's Skylark. Yeah, I, I built a few Skylarks. Let's see, who did the Skylark? That was uh, Don't tell me. Let me see if I can remember. Um, McFarland did the shark. Oh, well, I give up. Who did the Sterling, Sterling Skylark? I'll know who it is as soon as I see the name. Ed Southwick. Man, brain ain't working like it used to. Ed Southwick did the Skylark. but you only got 11 minutes left. <laughs> so we'll stand on the wings again while I'm waiting for the fillets to dry. think when you build an I-beam wing, you got to do this. Yeah, I said that already, Mike. You got to do this between each rib. And you stick a little piece of sandpaper on your fingers and do it. Another thing, guys. And, you know, I harp on sanding all the time. For a good finish, this is very important to sand the paper. And a lot of guys just put the dope on it. And it is what it is. But if you're going to get a finish, an outstanding finish, you're going to have to sand in between each coat. The open bays, the woodwork, everything. And if you're going to use primer, which I don't use primer anymore, except except for fiberglass stuff, don't put primer on open bays. Tape the open bay off. Only prime the wood surfaces. When you hold your airplane up to the light out at, out at the field, you should be able to see daylight through the wing. If you can't, you got too much paint on it. When you set it down on the ground, it'll look very opaque, but when you hold it up to the light, you can see right through it.
Uh, eight minutes left. Try to stay off the cap strip because you'll go right, the sandpaper will eat right through the cap strip in one or two swipes and then you'll be repairing it, which is not a big deal. I've already shown you. Ah, great, Mike. You know, if you make, if you put a hole in this stuff, if you do the repairs just like I showed you, it's not a big deal. They disappear. About three coats of dope and they're gone. I have yet to build a model that I haven't put a hole in the wing somewhere. Because I'm sanding. I think I'm going to sand this one down to 600, though. This is my normal 320, what I normally sand down to. But Looking at John's airplane, he sands down to 500. It uh, really looks nice. I mean, the nice flat finish. So we sand to six, and we 100 better. Yeah, you guys are way too late. Back up the camera. I said Ed Southwick <laughs> a little while ago. I'll tell you a name that I can't remember. Maybe you guys can help me out with that. And because I used to fly with him, but I can't remember his name. The guy who designed the Tempest. I'll have to look for that again. He passed away. Yeah, that, that airplane was for a Fox 35, so probably was heavy. You had a super tiger in it. I never was much of a Fox guy. I didn't like him. I ran McCoy's, McCoy 40s. Of course, they were custom McCoy 40s. If you want a good McCoy 40, Bart Kaplinski, there you go. If, if you take a McCoy 40, you have to buy two engines. You buy the Lightning Bolt 40 and a Series 21 40. That's the big case lunker, the fishing weight. You take the cylinder head and piston out of that and put it into a Lightning Bolt case. Then you got a good motor. That's a, I'm a gas 40. Lewis Rankin made one. So I, I heard that run. I go, yeah, that that's the old sound.
it feels uh it feels pretty good we're gonna be ready we're gonna be ready come saturday I'm going to shoot primer on these. Yeah. I got to shoot primer here, primer on this, on, on the fillets. And that's the end of the primer, and then sand it all off. And then we can go for the... Uh, for the rest of that dope that I had in that can, we'll thin it out some more and shoot a coat or two on it. And it should be pretty much gray by then. And then I can shoot the white on it that I that I want to do and for the reverse mask and start detailing. Got to do the canopy yet. I guess I can work on that plug tomorrow night. This the canopy has a it goes up like this, you know, it's got a hollow in it, so the pilot can look over his shoulder like a P40. And uh, when I originally did the canopy mold, I just did it straight. So, gotta sand that gully in there. All right, guys, we're coming up on the end of the hour. I appreciate you watching. We'll be back tomorrow night. It's Charles's night tonight. Uh, if you want to hang out with them, guys, great. If not, that's great. But I'll see you tomorrow night. Fair winds, tight lines. Keep building. See ya.